Hi everyone, my name is Sabrina and welcome to my crafting corner. If you're new here, welcome. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing. And if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. So I have a, another unboxing today and I apologize for any noise you might hear. That is my heater and I'm wearing a beanie and a sweater because it is like 30 degrees outside right now. It's cold. <laughs> I think it's like 30 degrees feels like 24 or something like that. My California blood is not ready for the Michigan winter already. I, I just can't. <laughs> um, but anyways, today I have an unboxing from VIP Cross Stitch and I'm super excited about this one. I have one cross stitch accessory as well as three stamped kits so let's get into it so the I'm gonna show the accessory first and they actually had to send me a replacement because unfortunately the one that originally got uh, sent to me ended up uh, arriving broken but I contacted them and they had absolutely no problem with um, sending it back uh, sending me another one so this is a um, like a floss card and I know it looks really like cloudy and everything but there is a coating like a little sticker that you can peel off I can just catch an edge of it there we go and as you can see you can see it a whole lot better and I apologize for my nail polish it looks awful um, but yeah, so this comes off and it's got 30 holes, 15 on this side, 15 on this side, and this is just really great if you want to switch your threads, um, to something a little more sturdy than the, um, cardboard floss cards that, uh, most kits come with, and especially if you have a smaller kit. So, super excited about this one. It's really pretty. So, there's that. And then the kits. Excuse me, need to take a drink real quick. Alright, so there is a theme with these. I decided to get all the same ones, basically just a different character. You'll see in a minute. So, apologize for any crinkling. Alright, so comes with an instruction sheet in case you don't know how to cross stitch. Great for beginners. And hopefully you can see that. It's Belle sitting on some teacups. And this is the printed pattern. It's on poster paper. It is 11 count. 30 by 50 centimeters and it's got 40 colors. I might not end up stitching the um, the white background. We'll see. But yeah, it's just Belle sitting there reading books and there's Chip at the bottom. don't seem to have any issues with the printing on this one, on the printed pattern. Comes with a toolkit, needles, needle threader, thimble, and a little poof ball. Sorry, my throat is dry tonight, I'm sorry. Oh. All right, let's look at the fabric. Not too bad, size-wise. Like I said, 40 colors. And printing looks really clear. So I am super excited about this one. 
All right, let's look at the reds. Get two extra skeins of the off-white color, which is number 40, which is all of that background, which like I said, I might not end up stitching just because the fabric itself is white, so not extremely necessary. So here's 37 through 40. And then slowly and very carefully going to unfold all these threads. If you do it really slowly and carefully, they won't tangle up as as much. Here we go. So here is one through eighteen. And nineteen through 36. There are a lot of muted tones in this, like the browns and tans and everything, but there are some bright colors in here, like those pinks and purple and blue. So I'm excited. Belle is one of my favorite Disney princesses. So that'll be fun. And I thought it was so cute that one of the cups happened to be chip. Going to try to put this back together so that I don't mix anything up because I don't want to accidentally mix the threads with a different kit. All right, next one. Which one do I want to do next? Yeah, I'll do this one. Crinkling again. All right, so. Again, it comes with the instructions. Pass those off to the side. Got the same printed pattern on the poster paper, and this one is one that shoots it. Oh, Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. Figured it's appropriate since Halloween is uh, well today actually now, since I'm filming this after midnight. Yeah, so we've got Sally sitting on some teacups and we've got the famous hill on the last teacup. And there's supposed to be Jack Skellington heads on the top cup. And I believe zero is supposed to be on one of them too. Yeah, so this one, 11 count, 30 by 50 centimeters again. And how many? 40 colors also. And again, with the white background, this one is like white, white though. The other one was more of an off-white kind of cream. So, but like I said, I probably won't end up stitching that white because once you stitch this, you wash it, um, soak it in water and everything and all of the ink goes away. So it'll be on the white fabric. So let me take a look. Yep, again, really clear printing. I'm so happy when it's clear printing. <laughs> it means my eyes don't have to struggle and strain. Because I use stamped kits when my brain can't focus on any counted kits, any counted cross stitch patterns. And it's just like mindless stitching. So again, Another toolkit, needle threader, thimble, needles, and a poop bowl. Alright, let's look at these threads. Two extra skeins of the white. 
for that background and part of the, the actual piece, but mostly for that background. And then, again, very carefully, slowly unfolding to try to refrain from serious tangling. This one does also have a lot of like muted tones, but if you've seen Nightmare Before Christmas before, it's nothing but like muted tones, unless they're in Christmas Town, then it's all bright and colorful. But um, so here is 37 through 40. one through 18. This is a lot of black, <laughs> uh, some muted blues and maroon, gray, some purples in there, and then 19 to 36. We've got some more muted grays and tans, and it's really pretty like teal color, bright yellow. This is going to be a really nice one. Just pack this away. All right, last kit. Okay, again, instructions and a toolkit, needles, needle threader, thimble, and a poop ball. I think I've got birds in all of the bags, which is kind of funny. So printed pattern. This is also 11 count 30 by 50 centimeters. And this one is pork fried. Again, perfect for Halloween, probably should have made this video and started it like a long time ago, but don't be all right. I've had plenty to search on. <laughs> mm, again, 40 colors. The background is that bright white um, like Sally is. And printing is all really clear. Let's take a look at the fabric. And all of these are surged all the way around, so there's not going to be any fraying or anything. So I'm really happy about that. Let me see. Yeah. Once again, really clear printing. on all of these, which makes me really, really happy. My only, I'll say concern, for all three of these kits is going to be their faces. That is what I'm most afraid of as far as possibly losing detail. So I'll probably do their faces first, just so that I can see you know, if the detail's there, and then if it's not, I can decide whether I wanna keep going or just toss it aside. But let's look at the threads. Let's get a drink of water first. The heater dries my throat out so bad. All right. So with this one, we also have the two extra skeins of white. got 37 through 40. We got like a mauve, tan, cream, and then the white. 
A lot of purples and blues in this one. I mean, the corpse bride herself is blue, so that does make a lot of sense. Why is the end of that one tangled? There is one through 18, like I said, lots of blues, purples, greens. They're very muted, but still very beautiful colors. And then 19 through 36, and one of these colors I am extremely surprised about. I actually might have to look back at that picture and figure out where it's supposed to go. And it is that hot pink. It's getting dulled down a bit in the, uh, video but it it's almost like barbie pink but then also lots of blues and purples but yeah this one's gonna be really pretty too and they are pretty small in size so they shouldn't take too long they are pretty confetti heavy though so Away. Actually, really quick before I put this one away up completely, I want to see where that right maybe her lips. What is that color? I'm like, what is that color number? 24. Okay, so the equal sign your lips there. Okay, where else? <laughs> We're gonna discover this together. So I see a few stitches for her lips. Is that the only place that it's at? No, also for one of the teacup handles. And then a little bit underneath the final teacup. But other than that, okay. I was really curious as to where that was even supposed to go. <laughs> because all the other colors, as you saw, are so like muted down and everything. So um, anyways, I wanted to say thank you again to VIP Cross Stitch for sending these over to me. I will leave the links to all of these kits down in the description box, as well as the coupon code that you can use and I think that is it for now. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, I love reading your guys' comments, so feel free to comment and um, if you'd like to see more unboxings and other crafty related videos, not just cross stitching, um, please consider subscribing and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.